O.J. Howard, the tight end, the big freshman, rumbles out. Has a wide out to the left. Bulldogs thinking about a blitz. McCarron steps up in the pocket and throws on a crossing route. Jones heading to the stick, and he got there. First down by a foot. So the seventh play of the Alabama drive coming up at the Bulldogs' 34-yard line. Play action down here. There it is. McCarron. And now pressured and down he goes. And he doesn't get sacked very often. He's been sacked once in about the last half a season. Now they look a little bit confused. And finally he settles them down on third down and seven at the 31. Two-man rush. Swing Nine pass out to Yeldon. And Yeldon trying to make everybody miss. Hurdles one man and he's very close to a first down. I love the call by Jeff Collins. Yeldon straight ahead. Easily gets a first down and a couple more. Again, play fake. Rolls and throws to the corner. Incomplete. Intended for DeAndrew White. And it brings up fourth down. That's a good stop for Mississippi State. And it's going to be about a 33-yard field goal attempt. Foster had a big 41-yarder and was perfect in his extra points in a win over LSU last week. From 33, the kick on the way and good. So the opening drive of the ball game, Alabama takes it almost the length of the field, but a nice job by Mississippi State to hold them to three. Second down and 10 here from the 24. The backfield empty as Perkins comes out to the bottom of your screen as a wide out. Russell's throw this time is true, and it's close to a first down to Malcolm Johnson. Third down in the yard on the opening drive for Mississippi State. They're 39% on their third down conversions this year. And little B. Perkins trying to take it wide, and he got there, put his shoulder, and did it well into Cyrus Jones and took him for a ride. A pickup of four and a first down. So it's third down, a short three, and an empty backfield for Tyler Russell. Here comes the heat. Russell trying to go straight up, lost the ball, covered by one of his linemen. Or Alabama would have had a gift at the 45-yard line. D.J. Yeldon behind A.J. McCarron on the stretch to the left side and waiting for him is a Mississippi State defense that takes him all the way to the end zone. Lost of about four. Caleb Ewells was the first guy there. Well, I mentioned this front of Mississippi State is pretty big. Jamie and Lewis is on the other end, and he's a dangerous return man. I mentioned he catches touchdowns. He throws touchdown passes in a lot of different ways. He can be a major factor. He's going to get a shot at this one, but he's going to have to backpedal to the 36. And the ball came right off his chest, and it's loose. And he covered it, but he lost a lot of yardage in doing so. Trips to the right side, and now they'll bring it in motion. Fred Ross to the near side. Alabama, four-man rush. Going to lob one out there to Perkins, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds by Jones before he can get to the first down marker. McCarron flares it out complete to Kenyon Drake. Drake's run out of bounds, a pickup of six, and we pick up Reese Davis. Reese here, low scoring in the SEC. Alabama with a second down and two. And Drake bounces off the tackles of Bernardrick McKinney and got the first down. McCarron scanning the field, in and out of the hands, and almost intercepted. By Christian Holmes, T.J. Eldon had his hands on it, and then number 44 almost had a pick. Again, now that looks like they have two guys. Nope, just one on Collins. And this punt, end over end, and Lewis has to let it roll, and that might be a big mistake because it's going out at about the one-yard line. That's two plays now that Lewis has made a bad decision. Josh Robinson in as a wide receiver. And basically, it's just a shotgun for Tyler Russell. Now he's being joined in the backfield. And he'll take it straight ahead, and he's not going to make the first down. First thing is catch the snap and then get it out of there. And he does, but it's a short kick. Not a good one. And it's going to bounce and stay in Mississippi State territory. 
Bulldogs bring up some extra bodies, but will they bring that pressure? No, they won't. Three-man rush. McCarron fires near sideline and drops. Would have been a first down. DeAndrew White just didn't hold on to it. Yes. All-purpose yardage for Ladarius Perkins. That's a good career. He's in motion right now to empty the backfield. He wanted to throw it to him, I think, and now fires and completes it down to the 45-yard line of Malcolm Johnson. Nice throw. Empty set again with Russell in the gun. Pressure coming. He loads it out, completes it to Johnson again. Johnson fighting his way down inside the 30. First down, Mississippi State. And now an option and a pitch to Perkins. Looked a little move on. Might have a face mask there. And there that comes the flag. Mosley, I think, got his hand up there in the helmet area and couldn't get his hand out of there. Tyler Russell fakes the handoff to Perkins and lobs it to the corner. Incomplete intended for Lewis. And Smith was back there covering. Sobiask in for the point of the uh, field goal. Attempt of 23 yards. And he missed it to the right. So now Alabama takes over at the 20-yard line. And it's Yeldon for about nine. And we check in with Reese Davis. Yeldon got nine at second down and a yard. He stays there in the backfield behind McCarron. And he'll get the carry again. And he's got the first down. And picked up about three more after that. Here comes a blitz off the corner. Yeldon got a nice block. McCarron throws incomplete. <laughs> Empty backfield for McCarron. Trying to break a string of five straight incompletions. And now he's scrambling around to try to find somebody open. McCarron throws on the run. A flag is down. Probably a holding call and maybe an interception on the other end. I think he got a foot. They're going to call this an interception, I think. Tavez Calhoun, he's got it. And Mississippi State's got the ball. They'll decline the penalty. Josh Robinson, tailback in a slot on the left side as a fifth receiver. So it's Tyler Russell all by his lonesome. Here comes a blitz from Mosley. Russell fires it, incomplete. Nice play defensively by Geno Smith. Second one he's made tonight from the secondary. Right now, Dale Mullen's team has given Alabama all they want and then some. But the Tide still has two timeouts remaining. Here's T.J. Yeldon. Yeldon into the secondary down the sideline. One man to beat. And he'll get dragged out of bounds, but a huge gain down inside the 30-yard line. Well, Alabama's got it at the 28-yard line of the Bulldogs. McCarron throws it out to Jones on a screen, but that's read beautifully again by Bernardrick McKinney. Here it is inside two minutes again. Second down and 14. Yeldon going the other way. And now the cutback run broke a tackle. He's got another first down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So T.J. Yeldon doing this drive all on his own. Corner blitz. McCarron, who was hit, got away, throws, and got it complete. And it's Vogler, the tight end, for the touchdown. McCarron bought himself just an extra second by getting away from the rush and found his tight end open on the sideline. What a gutsy, courageous performance again by Aaron Murray. Yeah. And he almost pulled it out of the end, even in the final seconds. The final seconds of our half is going to tick off as Mississippi State will head to the locker room, trailing by 10 in a game that should be no worse, no worse than 10-3. And another shutout. So we have seen Alabama... Two and a half games, we have yet to see the opposition score a points. Every little play matters when you're playing the number one team in the country. Not most plays, every play. And he said, all the pressure is on Alabama. And Russell trying to throw a strike in there to Lewis. And he's hit by Williams looking for a flag and didn't get it. A.J. McCarron in the pistol. Set will give it off. The Yeldon, Yeldon sidestep the first man. And now just bulls his way for about seven yards before they still don't have him down. The adjustments that Alabama made at halftime last week in their win over LSU really took two forms. Yeldon's next carry will have him at the century mark. If it's a positive gain, he's got 99 yards right now. 
And now he's got 100 and something. And he lost the ball at the end of it, and Mississippi State on a one-hopper has it. Beniquez Brown with a fumble recovery. Tyler Russell, five receiver set. Fires deep down the middle, and he's got his man, and it's Mr. Dependable Malcolm Johnson. Russell again in an empty backfield. Blitz coming from Alabama. Picked up nice. And throw and caught by Damian Lewis. An eight-yard gain. It'll bring up third down and two. Russell fires near side. First down and down to the 10. And it's Deronia Wilson, the freshman. And the Birmingham, Alabama native. That's his first catch. They've got it first and goal at the Bama 9. And here's Russell keeping it inside the five. Backs his way to about the three. He's still up. And now they're saying the ball came out. Well, there's a big pile up in the end zone. Alabama saying they had the football. At this point, it's either a touchdown or a touchback. But was it blown dead at the two? Touchdown. Wow. Now Alabama knows they're in a dog fight. 10-7, play action, McCarron on first down, rips it near side, complete to Norwood. And that's a first down for the Tide. Play clock winding down to two. McCarron, plenty of time, zips it down the middle, and Christian Jones has got it. First down, Alabama. Nice pitch and catch. McCarron to Jones, a pickup of 26. McCarron going far side this time and another completion to Andrew White. And White's backed out of bounds after another first down, Alabama. First down at the 24. McCarron again to throw. And he's got another one. Or is he out of bounds? It's going to be a catch. Damari Cooper somehow got a foot down over there. And now that they're in the red zone, they can go back to the ground game if they choose on second down and three. And they will. And it's Yeldon. And he's got a first down. Picked up four. Second down and eight. Tide can get a first down at the three. McCarron, the fade to the corner. Norwood's got it. Touchdown. Beautiful throw. An excellent catch. And the Crimson Tide come right back and score. Malcolm Johnson's been the number one receiver for Tyler Russell in this kind of situation tonight he's the slot man on the left and Russell rips it to him complete first down Mississippi State and three wide outs to Russell's right it'll be Robinson and this time he's got some nice running room following his blockers and he goes out for seven or eight yards boy that offensive front you talked about him and of course they have the touchdown in Sidaway but Beckwith and Day and Jackson and Plausel those guys are coming off the ball they're a power run football team. And Robinson trying to bounce it outside and somehow kept his balance for the first down. Wow, what a run by the sophomore out of Franklin's in Louisiana. Watch the balance on this thing. Number 81 got a nice block to allow for the first down. Crazy thing about this ledge is Perkins has had trouble staying upright, slipping all over the field, and Robinson's. Keeping his balance, sticking his foot in the ground, and picking up big yardage. And now the throw's complete to Lewis. And Mississippi State's got a drive moving. And how about the protection? Bulldogs just outside the tide, 31. Play fake. Russell, deep ball down the middle into traffic, and it's intercepted. Ha-ha, Clinton Dix is bringing it out of the Alabama end zone. And he's got a convoy in front of him. And a big mistake there just when Mississippi State had things going their way. Alabama's got it back. During the return, illegal block in the back on the receiving team, on the intercepting team, correction. Half the distance to the goal from the spot of the foul. First down, Alabama. And Tyler Russell hurt on the play as well. And they've got an eye backfield in there for one of the few times tonight. Play action, McCarron from his own goal line. Got a man open. And it's complete out to O.J. Howard, another one of our impact players. That's a pickup of 20 to the big freshman tight end. As a tide on a play fake will throw again on first down. And a wide open crossing route to DeAndre White, who is the motion man. And the Crimson Tide picks up 15 more. P.J. Yeldon 
Big gainer again. TJ Yeldon down the sideline. And then puts a helmet into Nico, uh, Nico Whitley before he's knocked out of bounds. And that should put him over the 1,000-yard mark for the season for the second year in a row. Blitz coming on McCarron. Steps away from it and throws a strike complete to Amari Cooper. And that quiets the crowd. First down. McCarron to the end zone, overshot everybody. It'll bring up fourth down. Kevin Norwood was the intended receiver, but that one just ended up out in the back of the end zone. This one will be from 35. Again, out of an A.J. McCarron hold. Cade Foster from the left hash from 35, and it's right down the middle. So they add to their lead, makes it 20 to 7 with 12.15 to go. Here comes oh, C.J. Mosley back down to the blitz. They don't need a blitz. They get him from behind. And it's Adrian Hubbard with a sack. Amari Cooper in motion on first down from the 47. Kenyon Drake back in the backfield and Drake into the secondary. And in a hurry, man, did he shoot through that hole and picked up 20 yards, 21 in fact, before they can bring him down. Alabama's got 85 yards rushing in the second half. They fake the end around and McCarron off his back foot throws an interception. Tavez Calhoun coming the other way. Calhoun to the 40, to midfield, and all the way down to the 40-yard line. Bulldogs are still in it. Again, five receivers for Williams on third down and nine. Trying to take advantage of the interception. He'll keep it on the ground, and I think he got a face mask pulled there. I don't see yep, a flag. There's a flag late. Came in late. A gift from Alabama. If this is C.J. Mosley, it's the second time he's done that tonight. So right now, it's Damian Williams' show. And the freshman back there with Robinson and Shumpert flanking him in the backfield. This one he gives off to Shumpert, and Shumpert's going to lose another yard. Courtesy of Trey DePriest. you just like to have it in the hands of your senior, not your freshman. Williams flushed forward in the pocket and goes down to the line of scrimmage. Alabama will take over on downs. So you might want to watch that race. I'm sure all of you will that are NASCAR fans, and some of us... Whoa, fumble. Are you kidding me? Drake just put it on the ground. Alabama trying to give it away. To keep Mississippi State in the football game. You know, if they had hit that first field goal and then hit, kicked a field goal on the last drive, <laughs> we'd be talking about a different situation right now as far as points needed. Williams over the middle, and this one Lewis should have had. Yep. In and out of his hands. Incomplete. Damian Williams, empty backfield. Now Mosley changing things up. Look at the defense of Alabama shifting. Williams looking left the whole time. And oh. another pass that should have been caught by Naranya Wilson. Incomplete. And Alabama takes over again. And had they made that one field goal, the short one early in the ballgame, as I mentioned, the whole score differential would be different. Or they could have kicked more field goals in this second half and still been right in the thick of the game. As it is, they're down two scores, and Alabama's now just going to try to grind it out here in the last four and a half minutes. A.J. McCarron under center with Yellen behind him. is going to get the call again, and again, they're going to bottle him up and drop him for a loss. You know, I was thinking about this today. Ed Orgeron, people around here familiar with him. Of course, he was the head yeah. coach at Ole Miss for a while. You know, obviously, it's not a career achievement award, uh, and his numbers are spectacular and his touchdowns are down this year compared to in the past But he still is playing at a very high level for this football team There's another mistake on punt return by Jamie and Lewis tonight He just can't seem to find the handle or the football or field them before they go down to the three-yard line If you miss the end of the Auburn Georgia game Unbelievable it'll go down as one of the most famous plays. I'm sure in Auburn football history and one of the most boneheaded plays in Georgia football history. Yeah, and two guys, double coverage, and 
chose to try to intercept the ball instead of knock it down. But you'll see that highlight later if you haven't seen it already. Williams goes down here. Sacked back at the five-yard line by Ajon Robinson. And they were one and four against number one teams coming into this. And Alabama was the number one team four of those times. Florida was the other one. And that one win was 1980 as we showed you that flashback. Here's Williams in the end zone trying to get rid of it. He did get it across the line of scrimmage and There's out of no bounds. Foul for intentional grounding. The quarterback was outside the tackle box. Incomplete pass. Uh, it was a tough one all the way around. Mississippi State's defense played very well. Their offensive line played very well. Their quarterback didn't finish the game, and that didn't help the cause. And Alabama may not be a perfect 10, but they are 10 and 0. It wasn't perfect tonight, but the season has been. Don't forget, Sports Center's coming up next. 20 to 7 is the final. It's going to wrap it up for Todd Blackledge, Holly Rowe, Brad Nessler saying so long. This has been a presentation of ESPN, worldwide leader in sports. And Sports Center is coming up in 15 seconds.